Saka Fet YouTube and Aquaba. Just in case you're wondering, both translates to how you're doing and welcome. Let's cook with me from start to finish. chicken drumsticks and I'm gonna season it up using some sea salt, some black pepper, also going in with some Maggi all-purpose seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, Some green seasoning. Now you want to just mix that up. And if you're like me and you want a little bit of color in your food, I'm gonna go in with some gravy browning. Then you just want to cover that up and allow it to stay overnight in your fridge for two this hours. This is the tray that I'm going to be roasting my chicken in. And I'm just going in with some rosemary and some onions just for some extra little flavor. And some potato, nothing too much. You just want to drizzle it with just a little bit of oil. Okay, I'm using this garlic infused olive oil. Just pop your tray on the top like so. And then you just want to go in with your chicken. Okay guys, so that's all done and I'm going to be baking this for about 1 hour and 20 minutes. My oven has been preheated to 200 degrees and we're just going to bake that up, okay? I will come back and show you after about 10-15 minutes because we want to be basting it as it roasts, okay? So onto my jello fries. So if you look here, you will see that I have 3 onions and 1 white onion, 1 bell pepper, 3 tomatoes. Four cloves of garlic and I also have one scotch bonnet pepper okay I'm not a fan of pepper and I have kids and they don't eat pepper either so I'm using very minimal pepper but you can always use two or three of these if you can handle the heat okay so the first thing that I want to do is to just go in and just slice my onions Put them in this bowl here like so okay so just set that to one side and over here i have my small food processor and we're gonna be chopping up the remainder of our stuff and make sure your vegetables are nicely washed for this okay
my food processor filled up to the brim this is why i had to leave that one onion out okay and now we need to blend it up so i'm using this food processor by ambiano and it's from Lidl's in the uk and i'm using just a little water in here you don't want to put too much water okay guys gorgeous so my darlings this is how my chicken is looking after the first 20 minutes and i did sprinkle some red chili flakes on the top which is optional it's just for a little color you know just before i pushed it in the oven and i'm gonna be basting it with the juices at the bottom of the chicken okay so you want to be basting the chicken every 20 minutes or so or it's going to dry out okay this is how i love to do my roast chicken and i'm using just the juices at the bottom of the chicken to baste it with okay just to keep it nice and juicy nice and moist see looking amazing and then i'm just going to push it back into the oven for another 20 minutes and i'm just going to be basting it okay so i'm going to be basting it at least five times before it comes out of the oven all right so i've got my clean pot and i'm going in with some oil enough to cover the bottom of my pot and as my oil starts to heat up i'm going in with my onions And you just want to stir that up. You also want to keep your heat on a low to medium because you want your onions to get nice and translucent but not burn. Now that your onions are nice and translucent, you want to go in with your tomato puree. And I just added about two tablespoons. Okay guys, as you can see, our tomato puree is nicely cooked. Okay, make sure you stir it occasionally or else it is going to burn. Okay? And this is where I like to go in with my blended tomato puree mix. And it's time to be seasoned up so I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of salt some curry powder two seasoning cubes and stir it up two small bay leaves so guys, my stew has been going for the past 20 minutes. Guys, and you need to be very careful, okay? Because listen, the way this spits up hot oil, listen, you will not even be happy to continue making this rice if this burns you. Now you wanna check it for salt. I've checked going for salt already, so I know it's good. And I'm going in with my washed rice, okay? I'm using about four cups of long grain rice, easy cook rice. Guys, see what I said? It's spitting up like crazy. So just mix it up, mix it up. Don't worry about the mess after. See this? Just mix it up, mix it up. Okay guys, and this is where I just like to go in with a little bit of water on the top just to cover the top of the rice, okay? Don't want to put too much water. See this? And this is all the water that you will need to cook your rice, okay? And then you just want to cover up the pan for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back in 10 minutes to stir it up make sure your heat is on the lowest so guys time to check on our rice 
And guys, you need to actually stir it up. You just want to stir it up. And just cover it up again to continue to steam so guys this is my chicken all done oh my goodness nice and juicy looks absolutely amazing guys absolutely gorgeous and I'm just gonna go ahead just put it in a plate like so And as for the potatoes and stuff at the bottom, so nice and tender. Oh my goodness. So for my spice plantains, I've got two plantains over here. And guys, the riper the plantains, the better, okay? This is the best I could have found from the store. So this is what I'm going to be using. So you just want to peel this. Okay, and then you just want to cut in the middle of the plantain like so. Just cut it in half. See this? Very easy to cut. And then you just want to cut it across like so. See this? Like this. So to season it up, I'm going to go in with some onion powder, some nutmeg, some allspice, some mixed spice, some cloves, some ginger. You're also going to need a little pinch of salt as well. I almost forgot the salt. Also, guys, it's very important that I tell you, this is my take on the spice plantain, as the Ghanaians call it, kelewele. This is my take on it, okay? So usually when I watch some of the recipes, I see that they use fresh ginger, onions, and all that stuff. But this is my version, okay? So after it's nicely seasoned, you just want to set it to one side. I love to just let mine rest for about 10-15 minutes before we fry it up. Okay? So my loves, it's time to fry our spice plantain. I've got my oil getting nice and hot. And this is my plantain nicely seasoned. And you don't want to put too many pieces at once, okay? All done. See guys, this looks amazing. Let's put it in a plate that's lined with some paper towels. And don't mind it looks extra brown. This is just from the seasonings on the plantain. So this is the last set all done. And it's time to be removed.
see this guys oh my goodness it looks amazing so so tasty so this is my gorgeous jollof rice and i'm just transferring it from the pot into a ceramic bowl but guys i noticed that it wasn't that nice bright orangish reddish color that jollof rice is famous for but hey the flavor was still on point feel free to drop some tips for me down in the comments because hey this is probably like my second or third time making this and i'm still trying to perfect it but hey the flavor was on point so i'd still give myself at least 8.5 let me know what you're thinking in the comments anyway So just to show you a close-up of everything, we've got my gorgeous jollof fries over here. Over here we have our roast chicken. Everything is looking so amazing. Over here we have the spice plantains. They call it Kili Willy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Over here we have some salad, which is some tomato and cucumber. And yes, my darlings, this is it. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoy all of the recipes. Guys, I will attempt to make this jollof rice again because I'm hoping to get that nice rich red color it's known for, but flavor is still there. So I'm still gonna give myself at least 8.5. My roast chicken, oh my goodness, do you see this? Wow, insane. So I hope you enjoy all of the recipes. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a pleasure having you here as always. And I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.